I always wanted an outdoor wood-burning pizza oven in my backyard. So one day I decided to finally build one from scratch. And I wanted to build this with almost no cost. Excuse the mess in the backyard. I was working on a couple of different projects at the same time. So first I sketched an idea, a design in my head. Then I thought about all the materials I need to have before starting this project. And once again, I didn't want to spend a lot of money on this. So I started collecting raw materials mostly for free. How? Well, you'd be surprised how many people post online when they're doing renovation. They just want to get rid of it. They just want some people to come, come up and help them clean up the mess. But it is a bit of work. Or you can just go to one of those stores like Home Depot and buy everything. So anyways, I started collecting old bricks, new bricks, rocks, stones, metals, anything that I could use in this project. Some of the stuff, I had to buy it. You can't get everything for free. In addition, you will need some tools. Without the right tools, this job is going to be even more challenging. And for me, I was always improvising. So be sure to do your research before you start a project like this. So I kept working on this project whenever I had any free time. And so far, I look like I know what I'm doing. And I was really enjoying the process. You have to enjoy this kind of work. Otherwise, don't even think about starting one. And of course, if you enjoy doing something, you will make time for it. And if you don't, you're not gonna find the time to finish it. And take breaks, don't kill yourself. And if you're doing this for yourself or your family, you're most likely not getting paid. Now, I mentioned I got a lot of things for free, but certain things, you just have to buy it. For example, these fire bricks, you most likely have to buy them. These fire bricks are heat resistant and they're made for fireplaces, chimneys, pizza oven, that sort of things. And they're not cheap. So anyways, after a couple of weeks of working on and off, I finally finished it. And I wanted this oven to have this rough, mean look. So the exterior is mostly rocks. The interior is a combination of stones, bricks and metal. And always some final touches to make it look better. And once the work was done, this thing just looked like a beast. It just looked mean and rough. The smoke chimney, and about to test it but it also needed a door. So I designed a door for it. And the bottom part, of course, for storing wood. Okay, so it's time to test it. Let's light it up. Oh yeah, looking good. Time for some wood-fired pizza. It took a while for the oven to heat up, but once it was ready, it was baking. And the pizza, ooh. It was so delicious. And then you just can't get enough of these pizza. Oh, I also created a little window. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I built this little charcoal grill on the side for some kebab barbecue. And this whole thing is made out of stone. And the thing about stone is once it heats up, it cooks the chicken so nice and evenly. Look at that. Looks so yummy. I know you want a piece of that right now. And the key to a good tasting kebab is always marinate the meat ahead of time. It doesn't matter if it's chicken, beef, or anything else. Always 
marinated ahead of time. And you can always add some herbs, some spice later on too. Oh, and the beef even tasted better. And if you're a vegetarian, of course, you can do your peppers, tomatoes, onions, and eggplants and whatever. And sometimes I throw some potatoes in there, some corn, whatever. And every now and then, I light it up in winter too. Canadian winter, it's so long, you gotta wait like 10 months for the summer to show up again. I even added a grill inside for a few other purposes. And honestly, this thing looks great in my backyard and I do use it often. And what I recommend it, I recommend it to the people that have the space, the time, the dedication to build it. And if you can't build one, but you still want one, you can buy one of those metal ones. They're a lot smaller, they take less space, they're cleaner, easier to move them around, but they are a little bit on the expensive side. But hey, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like my videos, share it. I do need your help and I would really appreciate it if you do so. Hope to see you soon. Be safe, eat well, eat healthy, or whatever you want. You're only living once. So be happy. Ciao.